Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another PS4 video. So in this one, we're going to be taking a look at some handy homebrew applications. These are the homebrew apps that I recommend having on your jailbroken PS4 when you first jailbreak it. And in this video, I'm going to go through each one and explain to you what they all do, why you should have them here on your PS4. So the very first homebrew app that I recommend having, of course, is going to be the homebrew store because that allows you to download all of the other applications that we're talking about here in this video. It is, of course, a store for downloading other applications made by the community, and it's pretty handy. You can just go on the application, download any app that you want. It does have some additional features too. For example, you can change the CDN, the Content Delivery Network, to a different site to serve you different packages, or to your own server. If you want to serve package files locally from your computer or your own server, you can also set it up to do that as well. I'll leave a link on how to do that down in the video description. And that application, of course, is from Lightning Mods. Now, the second application I'd recommend having is also from Lightning Mods, and that is Items Flow. Now, Items Flow, in my opinion, is kind of like the utility belt of homebrew applications. It has a lot of functions. It functions as a kind of replacement for the XMB, for the main home menu, because you can actually launch your games through Items Flow itself but it has a lot of additional options for jailbroken PS4s. So one of the options is the ability to dump your game files so that you can create your own game backups. You can also do things like apply game patches to your games. There's, there's an uninstall option where you can uninstall just the patch or just the DLC or the entire game. From there, you can also do things like hide the application, change the icon of the application, change the, the display name of the application as well. You can also move applications to the USB and launch them from there or move them from the USB back to the hard drive. So it has a bunch of features there, including the ability to export and import and delete save game files too. So it has all of those options for each of your apps that you have installed. And then on top of that, it has additional features. If you go into the settings, there's a package installer that you can use to install package files. And it also has a database rebuild function which is useful because there is this bug that happens on uh, jailbroken PS4s where if a database rebuild occurs where the app database gets corrupted while it's trying to write, maybe because the console crashes or something, then the console does this rebuild of the database when you reboot and it does not index fake packages in the database when it does a rebuild which causes you to basically lose all of your fake packages that you had installed. So the database option in Items Flow will actually fix that and add all of your fake packages back to the database. Very useful feature. It also has an NFS share feature built in too, which I have covered in a previous video, which I will leave linked in the description, which allows you to have package files and other files on an NFS share on a NAS or server or your own computer and items flow can access them as if it was just a folder on the ps4 itself so you can install packages that way you can even run games directly from the nfs share without ever having the game files on the local storage of the console which is a really cool feature so again there is a video linked on that down below i definitely implore you guys to check it out so moving on to the next homebrew application is going to be the ps4 explorer version 2.0 by lappy now this is a local file manager application for your PS4. It gives you access to the file system of the console. The only other way to access the file system is to use a remote application from another device using FTP, which is a great feature, but it does rely on another device and you need to have a network connection. Whereas the PS4 Explorer will give you access to the file system even if your console is completely offline, it does not rely on another device. You can switch between your USB drives by using the D-pad, left and right on the D-pad, I believe, to switch between the USB ports. And then you can press triangle on any files and you'll have the option to cut, copy, paste, delete, rename files, create new folders, and all of that good stuff. It even has the option to open specific file types like text files, I think some media files it can open too. And there's also a feature to change your profile picture too, where there's a companion app on the computer that you can use to take an image file, turn it into like an avatar file that the PS4 Explorer can open and apply that and change your profile picture on the PS4. It has a bunch of other features too, but we're not gonna go into all of them here in this video. Definitely a useful application to have. I highly recommend that you download and install that. So next we have the Remote Package Installer by Flats, which I've already covered in a previous video just a couple of days ago. It allows you to transfer files over the network it will actually download and install them at the same time. Very useful application. 
If you have package files on your PC and you already have a wired connection between the PC and the PS4 for running the new jailbreak, then it's definitely a good one to set up because you can also use it to transfer all of your package files and install them really quickly over the network connection. So next, we've got the PS4 Cheats Manager by Bucanero or Busanero. Uh, or Damien Perino. This application allows you to download the latest cheats, patches, and plugins for Gold Hen, and it also allows you to apply those patches to your games and select specific patches that you want to apply. So for Bloodborne, we can do stuff like 60 FPS, 720p, skip intro logos. You can do things like uh, disable motion blur and various other options that you'll have for different games. So also by the same developer here, we have the Apollo save tool next. So the Apollo save tool allows you to take control over save game files. You can do things like re-sign those save files. So if you download a modded save online, you can import it to your PS4, use the Apollo save tool to re-sign it. So it will work on your jailbroken PS4 for that profile. You can re-sign saves from one profile to another on your PS4. You can also do things like extract the decrypted save data to modify it yourself. Uh, you can get saves working between different versions. So re-sign a save, get it working from like a European version to the US version or a regular edition of a game to the game of the year edition or something like that. You can swap saves that way. And you can also activate a local account using a PSN account ID with the Apollo save tool. That way you can use the same ID as a retail profile that you have that you maybe use on your retail PS4 on the latest firmware or a PS5. And then that way, any saves that you create or you re-sign on your jailbroken PS4 can then be transferred to your retail PS5 or PS4 and get them up and running on the latest firmware on those devices. So very, very useful application to have installed and it is being updated to support 11.0. So those are the main homebrew apps that I would recommend having installed. But I do have a couple of honorable mentions that I would also like to include here. And that is going to be number one, Icon Mask from Lappy. So another homebrew app from Lappy. Icon Mask gives you some additional customization options on the PS4. It lets you change the tiles. I guess you would call them tiles. I'm not sure what else to call them. But, you know, the tiles that you have on the home menu for loading all of your applications, it can change the style of those tiles to many, many different versions. Uh, there's actually a lot of cool options in here for customizing the different tiles on your PS4. And it can go really well with different themes. If you're somebody who likes to customize the look of your PS4 through different themes, then Icon Mask is a great companion for that as well because you can actually get more customization out of it by changing the style of those tiles. So definitely recommend that one. And another one from Lappy, PS4 Temperature. This one I don't really use myself, but if you do have a PS4 that's overheating or is too loud, this application could definitely be for you because it allows you to adjust the temperature based on a threshold. So you can set a lower temperature threshold. Like if I go down to 40 degrees Celsius here, it's going to go ahead and kick up the fans really high to try and keep it at that temperature threshold. So you can get it cooler by doing that, but that will create more noise. If you already have a noisy PS4, but the temperature is not too bad, you can actually increase the temperature threshold a little bit higher so that the fans don't kick up as high. Obviously, you do need to be careful about doing that because if you set too high of a temperature threshold, the console could overheat. So yeah, just be careful when you're using this application, but it's definitely a handy one to have. And the other one is the PS4 toolset by SA and Tech, Software Apps and Technology, I believe. So this one is actually very, very useful as well. It has a option to rebuild the database, just like Items Flow, but it also has the option to hide specific applications. Now, Items Flow has the option to hide any of the apps that you've installed, but what the PS4 toolset has is the ability to hide certain system apps that you pretty much aren't going to be using on the PS4 anyway. So it kind of declutters them off your home menu. So for example, the live from PlayStation option that you normally can't delete or hide, or the, of course, capture gallery or the library. So with the additional debug settings option, you can actually delete these particular applications, although it's not recommended to delete them. So instead of deleting them, you can use the PS4 toolset to hide them uh, from the database. So they're still in the database, but they're hidden and they will not show up on the XMB. 
which is pretty handy. So that's definitely another one that I would recommend having. Well, those are my go-to homebrew apps, the homebrew store, items flow, PS4 Cheats Manager, Remote Package Installer, PS4 Explorer 2.0, and the Apollo Save Tool, and the honorable mentions, of course, being Icon Mask and the PS4 Toolset. And of course, the Homebrew Store is the only one you actually need to install manually, at which point you can then install all of the rest of these applications using the Homebrew Store itself. So that is it. Those are my handy Homebrew apps. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.